Simon Myers at Cody Dock in East London, and Simon's going to give us a quick history of the site. Simon, what's, what, what's, what's, what's the history of this place? Okay, well this site was built in the 1870s as a, uh, a dock to service the enormous gas works that provided you know, all the coal that came in to create coal gas all arrived here and all of the uh, byproducts that came from that industry all came out of here um, and the lee was the artery and the reason why this actually uh, was located here and this whole area of Newham um, was all marshes and pastures until this industry set up and in the space of about 60 years Newham came into being with hundreds of thousands of people living here hundreds if not thousands of businesses operating from here everything from shipyard, shipyards and steel yards to uh, bow porcelain to Congrave's rocket factory um, and also the gas works that I've already mentioned um, recently this site has been derelict for about the last 25 years um, and whilst it sits within spitting distance of Canary Wharf and it's on the lower knee footpaths leading to the Olympic development and further down to Excel. This area here has remained closed to public access um, and opening it up will actually mean that local people will actually be able to access over 26 miles of continuous footpaths and wetland walks. Where does that take you from and to then? It takes you all the way from Hertfordshire and down through Waltham Abbey and through uh, Tottenham and Walthamstow Marshes and Hackney Marshes and Three Mills and the Olympic sites, Three Mills, and then down to here and then out to the Thames. Park. Okay. And so this is the entrance to the dock. Yeah. And uh, what, what, what do you think the effect of this project is going to be, firstly in the first phase, but then in the long term? Yeah. What, what, what well, our first aim is just to actually get this missing link in the towpath open so that people in the local community can actually access this. You've got high density housing, you've got hundreds of thousands of people locally to here that don't ever have access or maybe even know that the Lower Lee footpath exists. Um, there are kingfishers here, there's herons here, there are shell ducks, um, there are moorhens, um, all living here. Um, there's a fantastic 10 metre wide footpath with reed beds um, and that as a resource is a fantastic resource, a natural resource in the heart of really busy, built up bit, bit of London that people will be able to access. That's our first phase and then moving swiftly on over the next two to three years we want to establish a creative quarter here um, where there is a bustling residential working um, and visiting community hub here. Um, there'll be a visitor centre where people can actually discover more about the heritage of the area. There will be resources for artists in residence to actually base themselves here and, and show their work. Um, and we'll also be creating a hub for creative industries, so creative crafts, be it blacksmithing and carpentry and glasswork and all those sort of things, um, as well as providing moorings for people to live and work here, studio spaces. Um, and a community boat for getting people actually on the water and discovering the water from the river. It's going to bring it to life.